the inauguration of this Casa Esperanza of Angels is a very much welcome uh, the part of the province because under the law, it is mandated that every local government unit should uh, allocate 1% of the budget for the council called local council for the protection of children and as of now we are still finalizing and in fact gathering we are uh, including and making a program of how to spend this budget now with the with this once this Casa Esperanza of Angels will be established, then we are looking forward to partner with Casa Esperanza so that uh, the funds of the province will also be fully utilized. Now, uh, it is not just beneficial to one party, but both parties, province and Casa Esperanza of Angels, because uh, on the part of the province, we are also graded on how we spend the funds and what are the programs we are uh, we came up and with this surely our grades will rise or uh, the ratings and in the part of Casa Esperanza also they will also be instrumental in helping the children uh, who are homeless and ultimately the beneficiary here really is the children, especially those in the province of Nagos. All you need to do is to coordinate. You can write a letter to the office of the governor so that uh, it will be included in the agenda of the meetings of the local council for the protection of children. And also in addition to that, according to the vice governor, because it is the legislative uh, department of the provincial government that accredits uh, non-government organizations or institutions or service organizations, once accredited by the Sangonian Panlalawigan, uh, they can also be beneficiaries of projects other than those that I mentioned in the local council for the protection of children.